Hi, Stark Centeno, and I get asked all the time about should I get dry needling if I've got CCI or upper cervical issues? Now, the good news is that many years ago, we would treat uh, upper cervical things like cervicogenic dizziness, cervical vertigo, upper neck headaches by dry needling the suboccipital muscles. Um, this is something that doesn't have to be expensive. Because of our work 20 years ago, most physical therapists now have learned dry needling techniques. So you just need to make sure that the physical therapist is properly trained to dry needle the suboccipital muscles. So it's a very easy thing to try. You don't need to spend a lot of money on dry needling uh, the tendons back here with head weights and all that other stuff. You just need to find a qualified physical therapist who can try dry needling. Now, for some CCI patients, it will help them. Other CCI patients need that tightness, so if we take it away with dry needling, it may make you temporarily worse. So you've got to try it out for yourself, but for some CCI patients, it can be very helpful. And again, it doesn't have to be expensive. You can get it done at many physical therapy offices from someone who's properly trained. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.